Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you are new. If you're new and you've clicked on this because you wanna know about going about getting breast enlargement in the time that we're in at the moment where it's really just crazy, you can't see anyone, it's madness. I've got all the info for you here. Really good stuff that I wish I knew. Not so much wish I knew, but it would be nice to know beforehand. So I'm gonna let you know everything i will put everything in different sections down below in the time so if there's one particular topic that you're interested in have it down below and you can click on it straight away if you want to know everything then keep watching so first up i'm going to talk about the company that i'm going with i'm going with maya i have had consultations in the past with twice with transform twice now with maya and one with esperance which is um local to where i live uh, they've all gone pretty much the same way, except for this one. This one has gone ahead where I'm actually going to get it done. Oh, I'm so excited. Anyway, I'm going with Maya. You've probably all heard of Maya. So far, I've had a fantastic experience with them. Really, really happy. Hoping that continues. Um, but that's who I'm going with, and I will link them down below. But... I'm going to go on to each stage now. So the next stage is after I called them, I had my e-consultation. So your e-consultation starts where you contact Maya. I did it online. I filled out the form. Literally, it's just your name, email address, phone number. They then contact you. I had a phone call and they said, you know, would you like to have an e-consultation? I said, yes. Um, then they give you a time, they give you some like uh, things to click on, like some links. So I got sent a link for the Maya app there. I can track everything, know what I need to do, any tasks, things like that. I will get onto the Maya app in a bit. Um, I had to fill out a form for my medical history. So I filled out the medical history form and sent that off. It's not anything by post, it's literally on your phone. Just do it there and then it took me about 10 minutes sent that off your medical history form is pretty much anything you're allergic to have you had surgery in the past how do you cope with anesthetic what's in your family history anything that could potentially affect you having the surgery basically so that gets sent off um, and that's all good so once you've had that your booked e-consultation on the morning you receive a text message from maya to say click this link and you'll be then in the waiting room in your e-consultation. So you just basically sit there with a video, pretty much like what I am now, uh, but they tell you to put earphones in because then they can hear you better and you can hear them. It's got to be a quiet space. Lasts about 40 minutes, quiet space, no interruptions, and you're good to go. So I had mine on, I think it was, it was mid-May. I had my e-consultation with a lady called Emma. She was so nice really really nice and i talked through what i hope for what i'm worried about um the fact that i've got absolutely nothing to be fair i mean as you can see that's a padded bra because you can see the top bit of it there i don't have anything so i talked to her about that i said what well, i was worried that you know one's smaller than the other um i've got one that stops here and one that stops about here so that's the line underneath and she said that's fine we have specialist surgeons that can do things like that so they can adjust and make them look the same so all that was good if you've got any questions anything you're worried about ask them straight away because that's what i did i was just like i'm worried about this i'm worried about that she will discuss with you things like over the muscle under the muscle or partial different types of implants she'll show them to you as well so she'll be like this is a such and such this is a teardrop, this is a round, so you've got different options of what you can go for, different textures. That I will go into more detail when I've spoken to my surgeon because I want to know what he feels is best for me because he knows more than I do. I can just say, oh yeah, I want that, but he will know exactly. So that's what you do in that. You have to, um, at the start of your e-consultation, you have to give some ID. So I gave my driver's license, you just hold it up. She, I think she takes a screenshot or something all is good so they can proceed so they know they're talking to the right person um what was the other thing that happened in the e-consultation oh they will talk to you about ways to pay so you can pay i'm sorry my kids are school obviously everyone's are um majority of everyone are you can 
go for different options of payment. So you can go for full finance, or you can go full out and pay up front. Bam, there we go. Or you can do half and half, and this is the only way I'm getting I'm getting this done this year. So I will tell you about the finance option that I've gone for. Money, money, money. So this is how I'm doing it. I've gone for half and half. So I pay half the procedure cost um up until a certain date so i've got up for me you can choose your own date your deadline my deadline is the end of september because i wanted it to be sensible i don't want to push myself to pay so much money and, and then get financially stuck so i was aiming for the end of august but i thought no i'd rather be comfortable and i went for the end of september so i will pay all my half up until the end of september and then when that date comes you you have a little bit of time if you can't quite do it, but it's really best to because you don't want to end up with charges and things like that. My date is booked, so on when I have my procedure, the other half will come in. It's 0% finance and I will pay off the other half over 12 months and it's a really good, like really comfortable amount as well, so I'm not worried about it in the slightest. It's literally... It, the amount I'm going to be paying them is what I pretty much waste on subways and, you know, oh, I want that so I'll get it sort of thing. It's ridiculous. Shouldn't do it, but so I'm comfortable. I didn't want to have set up an agreement for 12 months that I was going to be like, oh my God, I'm going to be really struggling. So make sure it's comfortable for you, but it is 0% finance in the first 12 months. So that is all good. So the other thing is on the um, half and half, what was it? They don't do credit checks for the half and half. What they do is they ask for three months bank statement. So I sent off four months because it was mid-May and I wanted to make sure I had a full coverage. Uh, and again, I was like, oh God, they're gonna see on there. It's like Subway, McDonald's, a little bit in boots, you know, here, there and everywhere. And I've put in my email to her because they're very friendly. You can just have like, kind of like little banter chit chat with them. So I put in my email, I was like, here are my um, bank statements, so I've given you four. Excuse the random spending. I do need to nip it in the bud. <laughs> yeah, so that was sent off. And it all, I actually thought it was gonna come back and be like, I'm really sorry on this occasion, we can't you know, do anything for you. But it actually came back good. I was at work, I'll never forget it. I was at work, uh, I totally forgot about it. I was I thought about it a couple of times, but not not that I thought I was going to get accepted. And I remember going up on my lunch break, and I just pulled my phone out of my bag, and it said, um, "You know, good news that your application has been successful. We can start the payment processing." And I was just like, "Oh my god!" I couldn't think or concentrate or focus all day. I was so excited. So it's it's worth giving it a go. It's not credit checking. It's not going to affect your credit. So. Yeah, if you think you can't have it done or you're thinking, oh, it's going to take years if I can get it done, this is such a good way for you to get it done sooner and more comfortably as well and not pay any extra on the finance. Okay, so now I'm going to go on to the Maya app. This is really, really, really good. So the Maya app, ta -da! this is where you will go to find everything you need to know about your whole procedure and your journey towards having that procedure so you will have your um next appointments will come up there so you'll get next appointment you can keep up to date it tells you the countdown 11 days 10 days 9 days and all that then you've got your tasks so that's things that they want you to do like if they want you to um sign an agreement that you haven't signed yet it will be there also you've got messages so Every time you get an email or a text message, it will also go into this section as well. So you can see everything. And when you've read it in your email, you've read it in your text, just mark it as read because you've read it. So everything's there. You've also got my, um, Maya space, which I love. It's literally on my late night, sitting there by myself in the dark. And I start having, because your mind starts to think when you go to bed. I know mine does. And I'm like, oh God. Am I too small? You know, are they going to be able to do it? Should I go for rounds or do I go for, for teardrop? And when I start having all these questions, I go onto the MySpace because it's really, really good. It's, it's a place where 
everyone's just on there for the same reason you are. They've all got questions, we're all worried, we're nervous, you know, worried about the pain, worried about the, the healing process. Is there anything we've forgotten? Do we need to prep stuff before? So that is a really good place to go and the My app is absolutely fantastic. Right, moving on to my actual op. I've got mine booked for November the 6th. They have said that if the cancellation becomes available and I am paid up at the end of September, then I can go for an earlier slot. So happy days. Um, the operation itself is, I, th I think they said it lasts about an hour, hour and a half to have that. I'm going for under the muscle purely because I don't have a lot of breast tissue at all. I'm really, I mean, I'm small. I'm just small all over. So I'm going to go for under the muscle, which is more painful which I'm really really dreading I'm dreading that so much but I don't want them to look fake I don't want to have massive rings up here I want it to just come down and be natural so it was oh god I can't even imagine what it's gonna look like I'm just so I'm so excited it's absolutely unbelievable um you have to have a pre-op appointment which I think is a week before mine's not booked yet I will ask that when I have my um next appointment with my surgeon on the 16th of June, yes, 16th of June, I will ask about that. But you're supposed to have a pre-op appointment beforehand. I think they weigh you, they do all that urine tests, blood tests and everything. They test you for pregnancy. So you will be tested on the morning of your surgery as well to make sure that you're not pregnant. And they will also test you with a blood test to make sure there's no nicotine in your system. You have to be nicotine free for a minimum of four weeks and it's really hard I've quit I quit smoking about seven weeks ago so I've not had roll-ups um I went onto a vape which I love my vape but that's got nicotine in it as well so I've come in off that I'm now on to nicotine free in here which is pretty grim it's strawberry and watermelon sounds nice but there's just nothing in it so you're not getting a kick from it at all so I won't be on that for much longer but it's good because it's bringing me down you can't have patches gum vapes cigarettes nothing you've got to be four weeks minimum free if you are not then they will then they won't do the op so you could turn up in the morning get all ready and they'll say sorry but we can't do it and that would just be absolutely horrendous so a lot of things to a lot of things to go through it is scary I'm really excited but at the same time I'm really really nervous because uh, I know what I'm gonna be like I'm literally gonna come round I'm probably gonna throw my heart up because that's what I've done every time I've had I've been under thrown up everywhere and then I'm gonna be like that for the next god knows how many weeks uh, <laughs> why me I'm suffering because I'm just pathetic um, healing process is about six weeks, they say, before everything starts to soften and drop and you see them and then like, looking natural and, and comfortable in the skin. One week off work, two weeks um, I'm having off work, so I'm going under the muscle and I know, I know that I'm going to be pathetic about it. <laughs> so yeah, I've taken two weeks to be off work, which thank God my manager has said it's fine. So um you can't lift anything heavy for six weeks. You can't lift anything in the first week at all. Obviously, you can like pick a pen up or something like that, but you're not going to be you're not going to be lifting a lot. Um, with me going under the muscle, I'm going to have to be completely strapped down for quite a few weeks, rather than just being put into a bra. I'm going to have to be completely flattened so that the muscle can accept the implant. So I will be completely strapped up. So it's going to be a while before I see them little bad boys. But it's all going to be worth it. I'm trying not to think about the pain, this, that and the other, because I just want to, I just want to take each day as it comes. It's going to happen. I've got to go through it. And yeah, I'm not going to go into the reasons why I'm having it done, because I don't think anyone should just, should have to justify why they're having something done to make them feel happier or better about themselves. And that's that. Um, for anyone that is with Maya going for the same thing, I was originally meant to have Dr. Takoris, but my doctor, my surgeon was changed to Mr. Giannis. So yeah, I will let you know everything on the way. My surgeon consultation, I'm going to fill you in on that one. Um, pre-op, pre-op shopping, because we've got to get prepared, can't be having anything over the head. 
Um, and also, I'm going to vlog the whole surgery and this and the other. So obviously not the surgery itself. You know, you know what I mean. I'm so excited. So yeah, if you want to see more of all of this, let me know in the comments down below. If you've got any questions, just ask me. I may have forgotten something. So yeah, just check out down below and yeah, I'll reply to all of you. Thank you for watching and I will see you in my next one. Bye.